against West. What's one of the best things about this? Well, I think for the fans who's realizing that you're going to be able to see every team in the National Hockey League come into your building, it makes for a great brand of hockey. Pittsburgh's also excited to be on the road and play in this building. Let's look at the starting netminders. Semyon Varlamov, a world traveler, has played for the Hershey Bears, the Washington Capitals, Colorado Avalanche, overseas, a part of the rejuvenation of the Avs, and represented his native Russia in the Olympics. Marc-Andre Fleury gets the call to the goal crease. Half his life ago, at age 15, he was playing major junior hockey for the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, and he dreamed of making a save that would win his team a Stanley Cup. He did just that for Pittsburgh in a Game 7 10 years later. Crosby's star status is known. That's why he gets to start this game. Opening faceoff upon us here, Nathan McKinnon, important, always a star. Snapping a pass to Landeskog. Good luck through center eyes by Duchesne. Shot, wonderful stop. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. And here is the third voice of our crew, the man in the coldest place, eyesight, Ray Ferraro. Guys, it's always cool to see in warm-up when an unfamiliar team comes into a building, how the hometown fans migrate down to the other end of the ice. They want to see these players that they don't get to see very often, and that's one of the real good changes that the NHL's made in the last couple of years. Always appreciate it. What's going on down there, Ray? Pass attempt to Duchesne. From the right side to the middle, right on his tape. And the possession taken by Duchesne. Forcing attention indeed. Wonderful centering pass, and it's right to him. Pittsburgh's continuing on at center. Shook through great. Save! In the slot. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Gets on by. Wow, what a glove save. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Nathan McKinnon, the number one draft pick in the entire National Hockey League draft back in 2013, and he is not disappointed. He was the rookie of the year. He was given the call to trophy for the best youngster in the entire National Hockey League in 2014. And can he skate? Not many players faster than Nathan McKinnon. Good intercept. Oh, good chance. Got a piece of it. And a whistle. Varlamov's athleticism and net was really put to test on that last quality opportunity. I still have no idea how he stopped that, Doc. Just over six minutes played in the first. Nothing up on the score sheet yet. The Penguins win the draw. Good save there. Rebound. Fires. Now it's directed to Cliche. Colorado's got possession in neutral ice. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Directing that one to Bonino. Takes it up near the boards. Looks ahead to start something. Skate kick out of the scrum. Pitching this one to Como. Moving it to Grigorenko. Shook right through. The Holden. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. The Penguins controlling play now in their own end. That 
is defense. One timer, save. Back in his defensive end to get it. Oh, here's the wrister. He got his glove on that one. Then he holds on. Barlamov's able to make an excellent stop here. That's a difficult scoring chance. The shooter thought he had a beat. Colorado's got a face-off win. Propelled to Barry. Colorado's got it in center ice. Picks it up in his own end. Pass to the shooting position. One into another. Whoa, pick yourself up after that one. That is a big hit. Passing one off now to Kunitz. On through the corner. Slid to Crosby. Tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. Colorado's in possession as they travel through center. Centering pass. Terrific glove save, but it's loose. Looking to Kunitz. Chip to Kessel. Clogged. And he'll cover. No chance you're going to beat a goaltender like that with a shot that's so easy. Defensive zone win. Carried to the corner board by Hornquist. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. The goalie makes himself look big. Nice face-off work to Aginla. Continuing with it through the neutral zone. Nicely received at the point. Outstanding save by Fleury. He's got it frozen. Not easy. This thing changes direction. It's an excellent stop for the goaltender. Penguins through the neutral zone have control. Looks ahead to start something. Pushing it on out of their own end. Pitching it to Stewart. Again, let's got this one between the blue lines. Slides it to the point to Soderbergh. Hope checked away by Fair. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Last minute of play in the first period. Back in his defensive end to get it. Colorado setting it up as they move through center. Mashed in. The Penguins go back in their own end. Not a lot of time left for this rush. Heads on to the corner. Muscled long. Blocked. The first 20 minutes are in the books. Both teams have tried hard, but only the goalies have been successful. Nothing, nothing. First period shots on goal. Pretty lopsided. 10 for the Penguins, 4 for the Avalanche. Barlamov's terrific save has kept his team in this game. Intermission is coming up. minutes in the books 20 minutes ahead and so what did you think of the first well first off doc the goaltenders were very good a couple of real tough saves at either end but this might be one of the games doc where the first goal definitely wins it. there have been no goals since the warm-up nothing nothing here in the second he's pinned and held at the boards thrown to the slot the penguins through the neutral zone glide along 
stopped right on his stick on the centering pass. What a save by Barlamo. Barlamo's looking awfully confident after that outstanding stop. I'm sure he's looking to make a little bit more eye contact with the shooter. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. And they've got a three on two here. Carried to the corner by Crosby. He's got a chance. Paddled aside. The Avs control the play in the defensive zone. Let's go, Rister. He scores. We've got a score in the game other than 0-0 zero, zero now. The goalie was surprised at how quick that snapshot got on him. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. The Avs have taken the lead by one. What fork in the road are we headed for with this faceoff? Pittsburgh's got it off the draw at center. Laid on to Scuderi. Flings it. And another glove save. A whistle and a rest. Barlamov's save is a good one, but defensively, they cannot give up another odd man rush. Just a bit under five minutes have elapsed here in the second. Colorado's got the lead, 1-0. Good job on the draw. The Avs lug that along in their own end. And at an angle to Cliché. Terrific interception. Back near the blue line to Scuderi. Shoots. That's why. Finessed to Scuderi. On to Cole. Another solid glove save. After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Man, he leaned into that one, guys. I can see the stick flex. He's really on top of this shot, but the goaltender makes an excellent save. Solid clean win. The Avs recoiling back in their own end. Taken on by Hornquist. Got that in the trapper. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Barlamov's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Fires. Hit the post with the shot. Trying to go to Malkin. Pointed to Lovejoy. Wonderful save on the redirect. Those are some of the tougher saves for goaltenders, the deflections in front. And possession snapped up by Lovejoy. Puck is thrown to Malkin. Great kicked away. One-timer. Snapping a pass to Winchester. Carried through center ice. Propelled to McLeod. The reason you take a one-timer is not allowing the goaltender to get set. And that's exactly what happened. Once that puck hit the stick, it was off and in behind the goaltender. Fleury's not able to catch up to this. That thing is a howitzer. It goes right past him. The Avs have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. Neutralized faceoff win. Takes that pass from the other point. Marvelous save. No time on that one. If you want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Up corralled by Boschman. The Avs carrying on in their own end. And directed up the wing to Grigorenko. 25 seconds. He pinned him to the glass. Scrum over, puck kicked by Como. Great stick there. Pittsburgh's in their own end, setting things up. Gets it behind the net. 
gathered in by Grigorenko. Up the left side to Cliche. Slides it to the point to Genin. Oh, wonderful play. Colorado's carrying it through center. In the attacking zone, puck picked up by Barry. Outstanding save with a glove. Gets play stopped. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Good clean win on the draw. Pass cut. Slid to Porter. That hit somebody. Pass to the slot. Good pad stop. Score! Great luck for the scoring team. Bad luck for the defense. You could see and feel the defensive players were just running out of gas. They were running around their own zone. You got to tip your helmet to the offensive players for that shift. They really had it coming. Barlamov's down in his butterfly a little early. That opens up the top of the net, and he gets beaten cleanly. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Up taken hold up by Malkin. Can he generate something? Pass attempt to Landeskog. Oh, and here's a three on two. Landeskog's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. Two period shots on goal totals read like this. 19 for the Penguins and eight for Colorado. The Penguins, with the scoring of this goal, have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's momentum from this when we continue after this. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Pittsburgh's down not after two periods of play. It's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnovers. It is the third period, the regulation time period, and we are underway. Heads to the front, and that one turned aside. Long lead pass to Kessel, and it's driven away again. Oh, it's there, squeezed for a whistle. Well, that even sounded hard the way that he shot the puck, but the goalie makes the stop on that effort. The Penguins win that faceoff. And that shot missed. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. Now it's directed to Latang. Straight back to Kunitz. He recoils back and hopes for better. Directing that one to McKinnon. Oh, that's good. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. Great shooting position. Pass to the slot. Off his glove. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go with the puck. Guys, this is an excellent shot, but the goaltender makes an excellent pad save. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Colorado setting things up at center. Picks it up in his own end. Chip to Malkin. Pitching this one to Scuderi. Moving it to Hornquist. Moves to the corner. A shot. Accidentally blocked. Goalies will take that one. Passing one off now to Barry. Picked up in the attacking zone. Ring 10 bells for that save.
What a great stop by the goaltender on the slap shot. He placed that perfectly, but the goalie was even better. Over seven minutes have passed. Colorado's got a lead, but it's just two to one. Clean win on the draw. Pittsburgh's in their own end and controlling the play. He can start some danger here. And the puck now possessed by Dupuis. Back near the blue line to Lovejoy. Possession seized by Puglia. Right off the left wing, it comes on through right on his stick. One timer and another save. Mark him down for one more. Picked up by Dupuis. Wide of the net, and it's driven away. Put his pads together and got the whistle. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Barlamov's had an incredible night. You've got to be lucky to be good, good to be lucky. He's been both this evening. We'll get a look at some of these acrobatic stops he's made earlier in the game. A spectacular performance for him, Ray. Eddie and I have talked in the intermission about how we can think of at least three or four that are going to wind up on a highlight reel. They win the draw. Hanging on to it through the neutral zone. Laid on to Barry. On to Gennon. Terrific love save. And he'll hold on. Pittsburgh's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. The Avs win it. Pointed to Gennon. The Penguins organizing back in their own end. Shoots. Score! <laughs> As a shooter, you got to get the goaltender to move first. He did, and he scored. Fleury's moved back with the shooter as he makes the deep. He can't snuff out the post. Colorado's gotten a huge goal. Now a little breathing room in the third period. The advantage is two, but the adrenaline will probably start to flow from the other side. Good position in the slot. Oh, and it's off the mark. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Shoots. He scored. Oh, I take that back. No goal. Colorado's not going to like this goal, but really when you take a look at the replay, that's goalie interference. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Looks ahead to start something. Propelled to Perron. Nice fake. Shakes him loose. Slid. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. And possession once again by Aginla. Looking to Tenge. Pitching it to Aginla. Drives to the net. Oh, what a bad save. A cover, and play is stopped. The shot's delivered quickly, but he smothers the bottom of the net so well, gets his legs out to make the stop. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Trying to go to Mont. Pittsburgh's in possession in neutral ice. Got on by with that one. Piece of it. Rebound. And he freezes for the whistle. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. And moved down to Kunitz. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. 
Colorado's in their own end, hopefully shifting from defense to offense here. In the slot, he's taking a perfect centering pass. Pretty simple here, hard work by the Penguins. Puck in the corner now to Crosby. Sanders, painful block shot there. Wonderful save, what a skill level there. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Nice move to shake on through. Now the puck rounded up by Aginla. Can he generate something from there? Save! Slides it to the point to Beauchemin. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. The Penguins, through the neutral zone, lug the puck. Taken to the corner by Kessel. Nice tip of the pass. Puck is thrown to Landeskog. Net open. Goal! Penguins win the draw. What's next? Really good move. Good save there. Grab. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Got a defensive zone win. Brings it, and he made it tough. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Barlamov's able to scramble back into position to make an excellent stop here. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in, and the puck controlled by Bennett. Back near the blue line to Puglia. The clock is at zeros. The game is over. The Penguins were out of this one. It's going to be a long day of practice after that effort tonight. another game and another telecast we hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching for Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro Mike Emmerich saying good night